Hey guys, you're watching one and Lonely. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Island Mansion. One thing I forgot last episode was to put a couple of paintings up in the master bedroom. All done. All sorted. Ta-da! Today I want to finish off upstairs. We've got this hallway to do. Uh, and that's all that we've got left to do upstairs. And then we've got uh, a couple of rooms downstairs. And then the house part, the mansion part, is complete. So, let's start off over here. Well, let's start off with lighting first. Let's grab some beacons. Or do we go with these lamps for down the hallway? Make it a little bit different. Like, stick these like that. And one on the end. Yeah. And then... Maybe just for that bit that... Oh, hiccups. Maybe just for that bit, though. Maybe we do some beacons for the uh, for the rest of the place. Because I can't think of any places where it could look good. Like, that one looks okay there. Uh, but then we've got, like, an odd number. No, I think beacons would look better for the, the rest. Let's have this in line with the doorway. Because that's going to make the most sense. Over here, uh, I might... I think we're going to put a desk and I might be able to put one of these on top of the table. Like, uh, let's go with an oak one. Like that. Stick that on there. F oops, flower pot. And let's put in a tulip. Can flower pots go diagonally? No, they only go straight. Um, let's put in a red one. Yeah, goes well. Looks nice with a painting above it. I can already see that. Yeah, look at that. No, not that one. I want like the creeper one. The creeper one would be the best one. Not that one. On the creeper one. I I know what one I'm looking for. This is where I find out I've changed the creeper one to something else. Now I'm sure there it is. I said I'm sure we had the creeper one still in here. Yeah, that's a nice little area. And then I think a a chair on the floor as well would look nice. Stair. Um, maybe a white one to make it stand out a little bit. Like that, like a little bit away. Yeah. Sign to go on the side here, just a normal vanilla sign. Like that. Beautiful. Okay, we'll have some more paintings and stuff down this wall in a minute. This is all light enough. I'm happy with the lighting in here. We do need some lighting down at this end, though. So we'll grab the beacons again. And we'll stick the beacons up here. I think we can do... That is, is that in line with the windows? Oh no, this is a three wide window, isn't it? It looks like two blocks because the the panes are like half feet, so it looks like a two by two area, but it's actually only a one by two area. So uh, we could do that to make it symmetrical in line with everything, or we can go with a single one, or maybe even point it back this way. I think pointing about that way is probably the best. That's now light enough up here. What about this banister? This banister we need. A different block going along here. I think maybe pillar. Sideways pillar. Like that. Yeah. And then uh, I think we'll go with an anvil. An anvil top. It's so loud in my ears. I've got I got the sounds for anvils way too high. And then a uh, grey carpet on top or white carpet on top. The grey doesn't really stand out that much, but it I think I like it not standing out that much. I think I really like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then we want sort of an edging down this stairs as well. Now, I think quartz is going to be the best thing, seeing as it's going to blend in really well to the um, uh, banister. So we want that. And if I put one underneath, we have the edge sticking out. Now, do I like that? I don't know. Let's put it all the way down. Oh, I could do it like that. Oh, yeah, we'll do it like that. I love it when mistakes end up being a good thing. It doesn't happen often. I think I like it like that as well. It doesn't happen often, but when mistakes do go right, they do look awesome. Now, do I want this going up here as well? I know I've done a couple wrong. No, that looks too chunky. I think I like it uh, either open there or we completely shut off the side. The other, Yeah, the other option is to just do complete quartz blocks. Oops, I got rid of a stair, I think. That one, that one. To do that. Does that look better? I think I think I like that better, in fact, even more. So the mistake didn't work out to be the best way, but it's good enough. Okay, so I want to have something up here. 
Um, if it's a light or a little bit of a, a miniature chandelier, we can fit a chandelier in. We've actually, it's actually the right um, uh, odd number, so we could like put one in there. So let's go with a, a wall, no, a wall, to bring it down. Just a little chandelier, maybe two blocks down. Maybe just one block down, actually. And then I think if we do one with beacons, I don't think we've done... I think I usually use glowstone. So uh, if we try a yellow beacon, like, oh, let me, can I, can I reach, can I jump? You got a shift click onto it, you see? Oh, maybe I didn't need to, maybe I didn't need to. And then um, uh, glass, I think I'm going to try some yellow stained glass panes. Oh, they don't connect to beacons, that's why I don't use them. There you go. Uh, well, let's keep going. You never know. It might it might end up looking cool. And that one. It's so close. I'm so close to liking it. Um, glass. I'm so close to liking it, but there's it's just something about it, isn't there? What if we take the middle one away? I can't get it in there. There we go. And that one. And then make these ones white on the edge. I'm so close to going, yeah, I like that. That's good. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. What if we made them all white apart from the beacon? I just thought yellow would have been a, like a nice thing to try, nice different to, to other ones that we've done in the past. See, that looks nice with the yellow in the middle. No, I like that. No, we're going to keep with that. Yeah, okay. I was sort of right in my head then about the sort of touch-up of colour. It'd be cool to either have a lamp up here, depending on what colours we've got. Uh, yeah, that one would work. Uh, or a table or a plant. But I think the the lamp... Looks really nice. It's a shame you can't turn these on and off. That would be really cool if you could like flick them on and off. Uh, the mod's not quite that advanced. Uh, a table along here would be good though. Let's make it out of oak. We've, we're using oak furniture in the hallway. And I might have a slab as well. Does Do the dogs drive you nuts as well in Minecraft when they're sitting there? Still plenty of room to get through that door. It doesn't look too cramped. And I think another flower pot would look really nice here. And in this one, we shall have... I'm going to put a mushroom, because I do like the mushrooms. Doop. Little mushroom in there. Okay, uh, we don't really have that much room down the side here. I can put another desk in, or another table in here, because it's four blocks wide, and it always looks nice there. Let's put another one. Uh, with this one, let's have a purple one, because I don't like these purple plants, but maybe you guys do. And I think that's about all we want as far as furniture goes. We want some paintings and we want a rug. Let's have a nice double wide painting. The one that I want here is that moonlit one, the sort of blue uh, blue one. And it looks, like, um, it looks like a night sky or something. Something like that. Not that one. Not that one. That one. Yeah. And down here on top of this one, I want the... One that looks like a knot. It's like a white picture. And it looks like it's got a little knot in it. Not that one. Not that one. How come you always get the ones that you don't want? You never get, straight off the bat, you never get the correct one, do you? Look, I'm going through all the other ones apart from the one that I want now. Come on. And I know I've got my fingers in a rhythm now. Which means if it comes up, I'm just going to click anywhere and it's going to remove it. There we go. It looks like a little knot. I don't know what it's meant to be, but it looks like a little like uh, a knot to me, I've always thought. Like a little ribbon, twirly ribbon or something like that. And on the back here, perfect. Yes. Bang. Oh, <gasps> we've got space for like a, a big one. Uh, where do I need to click to get the big one to... Nope. Uh, not that one. KFC. Have a, have a big old KFC poster in your hallway. I mean, why not? Who doesn't want a KFC poster in the hallway? I want, I want the two people fighting. The two people fighting, I think, is, I think I'm clicking on the right spot for it. It seems to be a really rare picture, though. I think, I think I'd need to click here to get it. 
If not, we're going to go with the next 2x2 two two, or a good 2x2 two two one. Because I'm not going to waste... No, not a skull. Not that one. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to get a, a painting that I don't really know what I'm looking for. Yeah, that works. And I'm going to leave that, that bit blank. I could put another table in there. Yeah, that works. Out. That works. No, I don't like it. I like it better like that. And then carpet. Carpet, we can have... Uh, brown. White. And grey. Brown, white, and grey. So, we'll go brown first. I'm going to have it three blocks wide. And then the white. Oops. White. And then the grey. Do you want to fill all the rest of them with grey? Let's have a look. Now, we can't go underneath the table. And I can't change underneath the table to the wool. Because it will change the um, ceiling on the floor below. So, we're sort of going to have to just live with it. But that looks cool. Just dresses that up a little bit. Maybe a little bit more brown would work well. Just a smidge more brown. Yeah, like that. It's much more balanced then, isn't it? Okay, I really like that. Upstairs is now complete. If we came, if we come up the stairs, we've got the first bedroom, the red bedroom with the Xbox and the TV. We've got the uh, little princess's bedroom with like a little desk and a wardrobe. We've got, um, I don't know, more like a chilled out room. Hasn't really got much. A little bit of reading. Maybe, maybe it's a teenager that just plays on their phone all the time. Uh, there's a load of phone stuff, so they've just got, like, um, books to read and things like that. Uh, maybe this person, the person that has this bedroom, is like me, where in their bedroom they have nothing. In my bedroom I have nothing. I have a bed and a wardrobe, and that's it. That's all I've got in my room. I only use it to sleep in. And then I've got all my games and my recording stuff in another room, which we can use down there. We've got that spare room. So maybe that, that maybe that's what that one's for. Little desk in the corner there. And then we've got the master bedroom with the walk-in wardrobe, some nice lamps, some nice plants, and the bathroom as well, en suite. Yeah. So this person, as soon as Zoe hasn't got much in the per in, in its room, he or she, whoever, then they can use this room here for um playing. So they're not in the lounge, they haven't got to have their Xbox set up in the lounge here. Uh, they can have their own their own room. Maybe I can have half of it games. Like I can have a TV here. TV there. Desk here. Library there. So like like TV for recording Xbox for YouTubes. Computer here to edit it all up and to upload it. And a little bit of library with a couple of seats for the rest of the house when they want to come and uh, just read. Every every mansion needs it. Every house needs an area of books. I've got a library in my house. And if you don't have a library in your house, then you must have a bookshelf. For sure, somewhere you must have a bookshelf. If you don't, you really should. Because I don't read, but I still like a library. I still like to have a library even though i don't i it's not that i can't read i can read it's just that i don't i don't read i much prefer i i prefer to watch films and such like that so we might as well try this then we've got uh wool i'm getting really hot in here as well so if my face gets redder and redder by the um what is that by the end of the day um you'll know why it's it's boiling hot in here and i can't have the fan on when i'm recording because you end up hearing the of the fan whirring believe me hiccups i've tried it i tried to record a video with the fan going so i could keep myself cool but uh no it, it messed up the microphone so much it just wasn't worth it so tv we then want chair not those chairs what are the other chairs called what are these called for future reference couch okay uh, let's go with blue no let's go with the light blue i haven't done a light blue one like that and then it's not a lot of room no maybe we'll make this into an entirely youtube room then and utilize it maybe we can have a little bit of a library in there like there perfect for a bookshelf to go in there uh i also think that maybe if we're going to do that now then we should move this to a the other wall move it to here and then i can fit the sofa in a little bit further back it doesn't look like you're sitting like one foot away from your sofa or one foot away from your tv 
you much prefer to have maybe not that far. Mm, I don't know, table in the middle. Like uh glass. And yeah, white carpet, perfect. No, it's too tall. We'll use a slab. Slab. This one. I, why does it do that? Do I click too quick or something? It happens way too often for it to be a coincidence. Maybe just the one. The one in the middle. Lighting. Beacon. We want to have uh, probably white in here. White. White ambient beacon. That one and that one. I think that's good. For the floor. Well, we're going with a sort of cyan. If I can sort of keep a cyan color throughout the room, that would be pretty nice. So, what have we got in terms of, like, bluish? That's a blue, but it's a little bit too clean of a blue. Well, we could go with, like, a purple. These are too bright. These are just placeholder blocks, but they're a little bit too bright. These are see-through. They're crystal. They're like glass, basically. Maybe we should try using those in houses. Like, what does the white crystal look like? See, that would work quite well for a window, wouldn't it? Do they give off light as well? They do. Windows that give off light. No way. Imagine that for the... You can't see through it. Well, you can see through it, through it quite well. A little bit... Uh, there's a little bit less than white stained glass. But it gives off light. Imagine that. That's really cool. Not only will it give light to the room on the interior... It'll also, at night time, give a glow around the outside of the window when you're looking at the outside of the house. How cool is that? Anyway. Anyway, moving on. I get surprised about silly things. I don't think we've got any sort of other block blocks that we could use. So, we've got the cyan, the blue cyan, and... Well, let's go with completely... Light blue cyan for the minute. Let's try that. What's that down there? Why is that there? I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've got some spruce going underneath my house. Who do I need to call for that? Alright, and this one. Uh, I don't know if I like it yet. You can't, you can't make up your mind until the very end. Yeah, what is this? It's just like a line of spruce that goes along. Maybe it must have been a world edit that went wrong. Maybe I clicked something wrong and uh, forgot to undo it or something like that or covered it up. I don't know. Ah, was that, that would have been the original house blueprint, wouldn't it? That's the original blueprint for the house. And then we terraformed over the top of it and it covered up some of it. I like the purple, actually. The purple works out really, really nicely. It's a nice neutral block that anything will stand out on. So I think we want a white quartz desk corner desk though because it's a youtuber's desk so you want it to sort of wrap around the corner here that one and that one slab to go around there like that we want a chair i'm going to use a uh, we've got black wool for a nice uh leather chair like mine hey okay, nice black one to go in like that uh maybe we should move it one buck black yeah yeah it's better and then we want a computer so i'm going to do a uh, well, I've got a triple monitor set up in my house. I've got one, two, three monitors. If I can get them all the same, it'll look very much like mine as well because I have the background of my screens all the same. Come on, get that one. Get the cheese string painting. There we go. Yeah, triple monitor set up. And then if we get a button, I can put that on this stair one. Can I? Oh, I can't. If I made that a full quartz block... I can. I can't? Oh, I can't put buttons on top of blocks in this version of Minecraft. That's what it is. Okay, I was going to put a button down to look like a mouse, a computer mouse. But uh, I can't do that in 1.7, apparently. That was a 1.8 feature. So, computer monitors. Uh, you want the tower? You can use a cobblestone wall for that. For your little computer tower. Yeah. CD tray and power button and USB ports. That looks out. That, that works out quite well. I think that's good. I have mine in the corner. I have mine underneath the desk in the corner of mine. This is exactly what my desk looks like, by the way. Three monitors in the desk around the corner. I'm sure you've seen it before if you've seen any other of my videos. 
or my uh, setup videos and stuff like that. What else do you need for recording? Uh, you need... Well, I have my Elgato hidden behind my monitor so I can't see it. You do, however, need the Xbox and stuff. So... Where would we put that? I, I've only really got down here. Stairs. Uh, if we use oak. Spruce. Let's go with spruce table for this one. We'll put that one there. Nope. That one. And that one. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Xbox One. So we want that slab that looked like the Xbox One again. To go down here. Boop. It looks so good. And uh, I think I'm going to leave the other one blank. Or, or maybe a day night sen uh, a daylight sensor. To go in there. It's a slightly different height. So it looks like a PlayStation or something like that. I still need to retexture though. Because eventually this will look like a solar panel. Because it will look really cool on the top of buildings then. I can sort of lay those down. They look like solar panels. Especially on the modern houses at the airport. We need to do it. Things like that. That's good. Perfect. So, what else? Uh, rug down in the YouTuber's room. That would work out well. Paintings around the wall. So that one. That one. Above the door. I don't think. I think a slab going around the top of the door would be better. Uh, oh, let's use the spruce to blend in with a little bit of furniture that we've got. Like that little table there. It is the same texture as the ceiling. But it's just going to give us that little bit of sort of shadow. A little bit of depth. Looks so much better already. 100%. And uh, a little rug to go on the floor. Carpet. Let's use the cyan to blend in with the couch. And the white to blend in with the table. And we'll do one like that. Looks really cool. My ears are ringing. That can't be a good sign, can it? My ears just... It started going... And that specific note. Oh, it stopped. Wonderful. Little bookshelf in the corner to finish off. There we go. We've got the YouTube recording studio. Everything that you need. Three monitors, Xbox, PlayStation, couch to sit on, nice comfy chair to do all your editing on, and your games, your game places. There we go. Perfect. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. So see you in the next episode. That sheep has got out again, and I think it's from here onto there, because it's the first time that he's got out. The pigs haven't got out. It's that one. That's what it is right there. I might move this into the complete middle. So, like, oh, I didn't grab the slab. Right there and there instead. And then hopefully we'll be sheep escape proof.